and today I want to talk about this programmer which I have already talked about how to use it in one of my previous videos but today I want to talk about its software to be specific so the programmer itself comes with a bunch of ribbon cables or flex cables and each of them is different from the others for example this one is 25 pin 1 millimeter if we want to connect this one we should go to this connector if you can see here is written 32 pin this is the maximum pin that you can connect to this pin to this socket I mean and 1 millimeter so if we want to connect this cable this is 25 pins 1 millimeter we will go to this socket and connect it from here because here is 1 and here is 32 so if we connect this cable we need to connect it from this side okay if we grab a 32 pin 0.8 millimeter for example then we need to go to this socket which is 32 bin maximum 0.8 millimeters okay so we will connect it here okay so let's go to its software here is its software if we open it we need to connect it to the computer okay now it's connected if we go to select mode and for example if we selected ITE we should have this page okay so from this bar in here or menu we can select our motherboard if for example I want to program my motherboard but I couldn't find it listed in this menu what should I do for this instance I must have the circuit diagram or the schematics of my motherboard okay I have already opened as schematics for one laptop this one is a Lenovo Legion Y520 that, that I have okay I opened here this page which shows the keyboard connector what I need to do is open a text file or a notepad and write these things if you want to program an ITE chip you need to write these things all of these and then you need your schematics first thing you need to write your motherboard name your keyboard bins number for example this one is 32 so we go and write 32 okay so then we need to go to PD0 which which is KSO0 okay so PD0 is KSO0 so we will go and find KSO0 which is this one KSO02 so we we'll write here too okay then PD1 which is KSO1 KSO1 is 11 so we we'll write here 11 okay and so on you need to fill all of these lines then you need to copy it 
to the text file of the programmer itself. Some of these pins are named differently like busy, stb, afd, init, s line, or something. Okay, you need to fill in all of these in accordance with the keyboard connector. This keyboard connector, these pins, goes to the ITE chip itself, the EC chip. When you finish writing all these numbers, copy this line, okay? Select copy, and go to the programmer file. You need to close the programmer itself, then go to programmer file, and then you will find here MP connection, motherboard connection, ENE chips, motherboard connections, ITE, motherboard connection, Noviton, and this is the settings of the programmer. So we go and open the ITE because we, our chip is ITE chip. And then you need to paste that line you wrote or you created here. Anywhere it will work, but it's preferable to paste it in accordance with the text orders. So our motherboard is NMP NM-P191. If we go to NMP, it's already here. I know it's here, but I, I just want wanted to show you how to do it. So NMP191, keyboard number 32, 32 pins. The keyboard connection is JKP1. You don't need to write this one. Left down, also you don't need to write this one. And I, I will talk about this one again. 0.8 millimeters, you don't need to write this one. You just need to start from this. PD0, PD1, PD2, and so on. Okay. What does left down means? It means that the connector of the your motherboard starts from the left. Number one bin number one starts from the left so if we go to the program the program itself again to the software and select ENE or ITE I mean let's go to my motherboard which is NMB191 This one, okay, so sometimes you need to flip your flex cable in order for it to fit in your programmer and your motherboard. But if you flipped it, you also need to flip it in the software itself. So this pin is degraded in here, if you can see. Pin 1 jig to one pin motherboard, keyboard connector. It's degraded. You cannot, or grayed out, you cannot select it like this one, for, for example. If you want this to show up, and then you can toggle it, you need to go to this. file, the motherboard connection ITE, and go to your motherboard, my motherboard is this one, 
okay I will close the program again you need to delete the left down okay so I will delete it now even this one 0.8 millimeter is not necessary so I will save it like this save okay I will go and open the software again and choose my motherboard okay here's my motherboard you need to select the keyboard connector now it's showing up you can toggle it I didn't choose this before but this will be degraded I will go and put it back put that things I removed from that folder again and I will show you okay let's go back to IT connection And here is my motherboard. I will go and copy these from here. Copy, paste, okay, save, close. I will open the software again. I'll choose my motherboard. And then dash B one nine one. This one keyboard connector is thirty two. Okay, it's still degraded. You need to delete that line from this folder, which is left down this one for any of these ports if you was if you were requested or you need to flip by the software you go and delete it if you don't then leave it okay so I close this now I want to tell you about the ENE this is about the ITE and if you want to program the ENE chip you need to write this again but with a few more things for example if we have a motherboard let's say L L A dash seven zero one P we need to write keyboard key KP underscore the pins equals let's say for example there are 25 pins for example then you need to write KSO KS03 KS I4 okay equals KS I7 equals KSI6, KSI6 equals, and KSI5, KSI5 equals. This is the line of the ENE chip. It's much fewer, fewer than the ITE chips. You need to find KSO 
according to the keyboard connection. For example, this one. This one is for ITE. Okay, KSI4, KSI7, KSI6, and KSI5. If we go to the motherboard connection E and E, I don't know if this mother specific motherboard is there, but let's try to find it. LA dash C, this one, it's here. Okay. We need to write, as I said, keyboard numbers, it's 32. Okay. KSO3, KSI4, KSI7, KSI6, KSI5. These are the things that you need to write for the E and E chips. But the IT chips, little bit different. BD0, BD1, BD2, BD3, BD4, BD5, BD6, BD7, then BZ, STB, AFT, INIT, SLIN, and KSI4, KSI5. Then copy these files or lines to your motherboard settings or your software settings folders or file I mean don't save copy it here close it go open the program again and you will find it there okay so here this is about this programmer and one thing is about these two connections, if you go and look underneath this circuit board, you've, you will find DND and PC. DND is to connect this programmer with your motherboard using this connection, USB connection to your motherboard. So this will share the ground from your programmer and your motherboard and this connection is towards your PC okay this is all about this programmer I hope you will find it helpful thank you for watching and see you in another video